Welcome to Explorama Lodges. It's time to explore the magic, myths, and mysteries of the exotic rainforests of Peru. During the 80-minute flight from Lima, capital of Peru, you'll fly over the majestic Andes Mountains and then part of the amazing Amazon rainforest before landing in the city of Iquitos. At the airport in Iquitos, one of Explorama's friendly, helpful, and multilingual guides will welcome you and take care of your luggage for further transport to the jungle. Getting on the Explorama bus, you'll head for the main office in the city of Iquitos. Here you will board one of Explorama's comfortable boats as you travel to the lodge of your choice. You will navigate through the Amazon and Napo rivers, as well as some of its tributaries. Access to the lodges is only possible by boat as there are no roads in this part of Peru. The journey of 40 kilometers or 25 miles brings you to the luxury lodge Sabatops. The trip from Iquitos takes 45 minutes by speedboat or about an hour and a half on the much larger Amazon Queen Riverboat. Sabatops is the only lodge on the banks of the Amazon River where each private room has air conditioning and hot water showers. Three delicious meals a day are served at all Explorama lodges. The dining room at Sabatops has a wide open air view outside to the surrounding gardens and pool area. A well-stocked bar, reception area, and hammock house awaits you, as well as a swimming pool, hot tub, and water slide for fun in the equatorial sun. The name Sabatops was chosen because of the great Saba tree located near the lodge. One of the few remaining old growth sabas, this tree has been rescued from the lumber industry for us to enjoy today. An hour and a half from Iquitos, located in one of Explorama's own private reserves, is Explorama Lodge. This lodge is situated on 300 hectares, or 744 acres, protected by Explorama for the past 40 years. The lodge is located on the Yanamono stream, which means black monkey. It is more rustic in style than Sabatops and is built in harmony with the rainforest and the surrounding native buildings. Each of the 56 comfortable rooms at Explorama Lodge has its own private bathroom with a shower palm thatch roof for an open air experience. Since there is no electricity at the lodge, all guest rooms, the dining room and bar, Corridors and hammock houses are lit by kerosene lamps, which give a lovely romantic touch to the air at night. The hammock house is a perfect place to rest during the day or night. Explorama Lodge also has access to handicrafts and souvenirs made by local craftsmen for purchase by our guests. Further downriver, 80 kilometers or 50 miles, then up the Napo River is Explore Napo Lodge, situated on the Sukasari stream. This lodge is located in Explorama's most extensive area of reserves, covering more than 3,000 hectares, or approximately 7,400 acres. Explornapo is smaller than Explorama Lodge, but is built following the same native style. Many tourist groups that come leave wooden commemorative plaques behind in the dining room. A half hour hike in the reserves of Explornapo brings us to the Amazon Conservatory of Tropical Studies, or ACTS. This building has a design similar to Explore Napo. Here, there are laboratories and a conference room where students, scientists, and visitors can interact. A short walk from ACTS is the access tower to the canopy walkway. A two-hour walk from Explore Napo Lodge is the Explore Tambos Camp the most rustic of Explorama's lodges for those who want to have closer contact with nature. This camp has a capacity of 16 visitors at a time, and each rustic shelter is equipped with bedding and mosquito nets. The kitchen, dining area, 
showers, and toilets are also rustic in style and construction. Explorama provides many choices in which to have contact with nature through multiple daily excursions. Led by Explorama's many experienced guides. These excursions offer opportunities for walking on trails in the high forest to observe some of the biodiversity of the area. There are also trails in the low forests which are seasonally flooded. Each area gives a different view of this tropical rainforest. More than 500 bird species have been identified in the reserves of Explorama. This incredible biodiversity is easily accessible thanks to the experience of our guides who know their bird songs and habits. Explorama has been a leader in this area of specialty. Interior lagoons can be visited where you see the famous Victoria Regina lily pads and the interesting prehistoric bird called Hwatsin. These two oddities are found exclusively in this part of the world. Piranhas are common in the Amazon River and its tributaries. Despite their aggressive nature, these fish have been overly dramatized in books and movies. Fishing for them with hooks and bait is an interesting and fun adventure. The Native American Yagua people live near our villages and welcome visitors by sharing with them their customs, dress, home life and crafts. A serpentana or blowgun was a very important weapon, as well as harpoons and spears for hunting. Those who want to can try their hand with this unique weapon. Many of our guests visit village schools, which receive help from Explorama through the Adopt-a-School program, created in 1993. Each year, this program provides books and school supplies to over 4,500 children living along the Amazon and Napo rivers. Without this help, these children could not otherwise afford these important materials for learning. Here is the sugar cane rum mill. The cane is put into the press to extract the juice. Once fermented and distilled, it produces aguardiente or cachaca. Industries such as this one have been in existence for hundreds of years. Try some? The canopy walkway over the treetops near Explornapo Lodge is one of the largest in the world. Easy to access and without requiring any special equipment, it is an unforgettable experience to view the rainforest canopy and its inhabitants from this unique perspective. While you are at Explornapo Lodge, you will have the chance to visit the Ethnobotanical Garden of Medicinal Plants. Here, more than 200 species of useful plants are regularly attended by our two shamans. They share the medicinal value of these plants, and visitors are invited to attend the rituals surrounding their use. This is the largest garden of its kind in this area of the Amazon rainforest. The rainforest becomes a world of different sights and sounds at night. Nightly excursions from either Explorama Lodge or Explornapo lead to interesting encounters with the wonderful creatures of the night in the rainforest. After a full day of activities, the time for a well-deserved rest arrives. You'll return by boat to Iquitos for a brief visit to the city center, which offers many examples of turn-of-the-century architecture from the rubber boom days. The El Dorado Plaza Hotel is used for a comfortable base as guests await their transfer to the airport for the return trip to Lima. Over the years, we have made many friends who return from time to time to visit the Amazon River and the surrounding rainforest. One visit just doesn't seem to be enough. The Explorama family, with more than 40 years of experience in the Amazon region, hopes to have the opportunity to serve you and give you the attention you deserve. Here in one of the most exciting ecological areas of the world, we are waiting for your visit.